John 14, 6. Last week we deal with Proverbs 3, 5. We're dealing with John 14, 6. Now watch this, okay? What we're trying to do is take one scripture and get the most out of it instead of reading scriptures really fast and blowing through them. So I want to memorize this, but I also, over five days of devotions, take one scripture and get the most out of it. So what I do is I try to dissect it, rip it apart, and get the most out of it so it applies to my life. Watch this. John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay, so the first day, I deal with the first line. I am the way. Now, when you look at the word I am, that's from the Old Testament. Remember Moses said to God, okay, you want me to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? Who should I say sent me? And God said, tell them the I am. So all of a sudden you realize that Jesus is saying I am, which is the powerful word of saying Jehovah has appointed me because I am part of Jehovah. Now watch the second part, the way. So what I do is I start to look at how can he be the way, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, through the word of God, and so forth. The second day, I start to look and the truth. What does the word truth mean here? What, you know, does truth mean what society says or the Bible says or so forth? And how am I accepting the truth or rejecting the truth? The third day, I deal with life. Okay, and life. Well, what does he mean by life? Does it mean heaven only or life here, healing, restoration, so forth? But then I go on to the fourth day. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus taught us to pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Here's the key. The third, fourth and fifth day, I start to take this, the way, the truth, and life, and start to say, how can I approach the Father so I can get the way, truth, and life through Jesus Christ? Hey, I'll see you next week.